So here we are in the back 40 of our property. This used to be at one time farmland, all bush now. And we're looking at a decidedly old homemade vehicle used to tow things through the mud in the fields and a wrecking yard just a couple miles outside of Sutton West, Ontario. Now I first uh, remember this vehicle, what we call a half track, uh, in the 1960s. Probably, I know, I know we got it before 1968, and uh, we got it from a man named Al Merritt, who ran a garage, I think, in Sutton. Now, on the engine itself, there's a plaque that reads that this C-59A was rebuilt in 1960. So, I think I seem to remember us acquiring this. So that would have been 1966 or 7. Because I would be too young before then. Anyway, sometime mid-60s, uh, my dad got this vehicle. He had a wrecking yard two miles out of Sutton, like I said. Uh, a few hundred cars. And this was used spring, fall, whenever it was rainy. And it's made mostly out of Ford parts. We see early 40 speedometer, and steering column, and flathead engine, and rad. But it's built on a reinforced or heavily added to Model A frame. Circa 19... 28 to 31, of course, for the Model A, with a Model A front end, as you can see there. Had mechanical brakes, there's a mechanical brake lever, still free. Um, steering box, just heavy welded to the frame. Rods used to reinforce steering arm. Very much of this is just heavy duty, crudely built. Like, look at this uh, boom made out of uh, supports, made out of drive shafts. See the, whoa, see the drive shaft there? And some sort of pipe. Uh, we see it had some holes here. So maybe it was some sort of Jack post and a crudely fabricated hook to hang your shiv on. Now, how it would work is you have a four speed manual transmission and clutch, power takeoff, runs a shaft, it runs a chain. Do another shaft on another transmission. And this transmission, the secondary, runs the winch. And the uh, cable drum barrel set up here. So, uh, here's where the battery would rest. You see some Anything that would work to fasten things together was the name of the game. To have a heavy plate back here for a tongue or a trailer hitch. Now, the reason we're looking at it today is I want to save all the flathead Ford stuff. Uh, mid-40s, early 40s maybe. And the rear end appears to be Ford too because it's got the five by five and a half 
inch wheel on the back here. I have the other wheel ready to gently sandblast it. And this one is the last of the wheels that came off this that we have from those days down on the wrecking yard in Sutton. Um, so I have about a dozen of these and um, I sent a friend to Barry last year who was going anyway and uh, before all this COVID stuff and uh, he uh, he said yeah I, I saw some wheels like this for you but uh, I wasn't thinking that you wanted to pay $450 a piece so that's why I'm saving even this old rusty one if uh, need be if it's too bad I'll just put a tube in it and an old tire and use it uh, to keep one of my cars off the ground and off-road here on our property um, floating axle there I don't know what kind of wheels those are four bolt boat windscreen that the kids have busted out I remember it had 1936 I think Chev headlights mounted somewhere here there's the crank for it anyway I'm not too concerned about the vehicle itself but I do remember it you know when I was young tearing through the mud and I know where there's another half track four tracks and I have another rear end identical to this but it didn't have 16 inch wheels it had 15 so that's why I'm saving this wheel it's a 16 the hot rodders use them for their roadsters and high boys um, that's what I'm doing today with the torches. Anyway, I just thought I'd uh, document it for posterity. And uh, it's kind of an interesting piece of old iron. Another view of the Model A front end. The rear spring is actually where it would be, would be located in there. So, uh, it's extended back and extended on the front for some sort of bumper affair, I imagine. Um, I'm kind of half tempted to do what I have to to get the engine running and switch out that rear end that I have and drive it out of here because it's going to be a heck of a thing to ever tow it out of the bush here. We have a tow truck, but I don't know. Anyway, we'll see what happens, but I'm going to save the wheel <laughs> today. Thanks for watching. Bye now.